Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, we are gonna talk about bathroom bolos, one of my favorite categories to talk about. Um, I have done bathroom bolos before, so I think I have two other uh, videos that, um, category videos on bathroom bolos that I've done in the past, so you can search my channel for that. And we're just gonna dig in and get started. I'm gonna talk to you about bolo items that you can find in the bathrooms at estate sales. You will also find these items in thrift stores sitting at garage sales on the tables. So buy low, sell high, be on the lookout for these items. All right, let's get started here. The first item is, are we good? We are good. Okay. The first item is this uh, Crab Tree and Evelyn. It is uh, hand therapy, you guys. So it is a discontinued product. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you can find new old stock discontinued products, look them up. This seller has sold three of these. And you can see they all sold for 100. Well, it looks like 180 and 80, which is still fantastic. Um, and they still have some left. So, or no, I'm sorry, they have zero left. That was their last one. And they even spell discontinued wrong. So it's just a typo, but uh, very, very cool. So hand cream. The next item is this cologne spray, um, vintage cologne spray, perfumes, colognes. Okay, so here's the deal. New in the box can be sold in collectibles from what I understand. Now, it has to be new old stock, though. Um, a friend of mine recently reached out to me. I had a video on some perfume that I sold, and I was selling it under collectibles because people oftentimes collect the bottles. So what she said eBay told her was that you are no longer allowed to list pre-owned perfume, cologne, anything in any category. If it's pre-owned, you can't sell it. So you can call eBay and verify that. I took all of my vintage perfumes that were pre-owned down. I'm not sure why eBay has this rule. If you know, please let me know in the comments. I do not know of anyone that has had an item taken down or gotten in trouble for it, but um, she did call and verify that it's not even allowed to be sold in collectibles. So just wanted to give you guys an FYI. As far as I know, if it's new in the box, never used, it's fine to be sold in collectibles. But again, you may want to cover your bases on that just to be safe. But this one looks like it's new in the box. I think if it's new in the box, it can be sold under perfume also. Let's go up and see where they have this. See, they have this health and beauty fragrances because it is in the original box brand new. So if you guys have any feedback on that, please let me know down in the comments. But this item sold for $162.75 plus shipping. Oh, I'm sorry, free shipping on that. And if you don't know, perfume does have to ship ground. The next item that sold is this bed head sculpting liquid. You guys, it's a discontinued product. $134.99. There is one left. They have sold three for $134.99 each. That is crazy. So you guys, when you're at garage sales and stuff and you see something that's new old stock, definitely look it up because you just never know. The next item that you can sometimes find are vintage candles. And a lot of times people will put these like in their bathroom and have it burning in the bathroom. So you may find this at an estate sale in a drawer or something like this. This one is from the 1960s. It looks to be new old stock with the original packaging. And this sold for $56.25. Um, and there's one left and it looks like they accepted a best offer. So I'm not sure what the first one sold for, but it is the other one is listed for $56. Skin So Soft. All right, you guys. So Skin So Soft is an Avon product. It's one of those Avon products to be on the lookout for. I do have a category video on Avon products to bolo for. There are a bunch, you may be really surprised, but there are also a bunch of duds. So if you're gonna buy an Avon product, definitely look it up first before you put out some money. Um, the, every, ranges from bread and butter to big money, but this Skin So Soft is collectible. And you can see here, it looks like they've still, they're still sealed, but look how much they've evaporated. Isn't that crazy? I mean, they all look to be like the same 
maybe because they're the same age. I don't know. But these are from 1991, you guys. Sold for $90 plus shipping. Um, I used to sell Avon. So it's so funny for me to see this because I actually used to sell these to people. Um, but this is used, uh, it keeps away mosquitoes. So uh, I don't know. People love it. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, you guys. Over on my Bolo Buddies channel, I just did a video recently with my husband on an estate sale. So him and I went to an estate sale and we walked in. It was a disaster. Um, nothing was really priced very well. There were some signs that said this is this price and whatnot. But um, we basically went in and we split up and then we each had a bag of stuff and we go through the bag. And I, I'm going to say probably 10 to 12 items already have sold in this video. But I'm going to show you a couple of the items, three of the items that I already sold that are bathroom bolos. Um, but he shows his bag. I show mine. I show you how we listed everything and what has sold so far. This is a fantastic video. It has not gotten enough views. You guys have got to go watch it because you are going to be surprised by some of the bolos. All right. So I'm going to show you three of them. Here's a sneak peek. The first one is this Gillette Sensor Excel Razor. It sold for $42 plus shipping. It is new old stock, you guys. So definitely a bolo item. I have sold this razor before, so I knew it was a bolo when I saw it. My cost of goods on that was probably like a dollar or less. The next item are these rollers. They are will hold plastic brush rollers. You can see the package is partially empty. Some of them may be over here in this bag. I bought a goodie, a pack of goodie also, and I thought those were going to go first. So I was really surprised when these sold first. I sold these for $25 and probably again had a buck or less in them. It was kind of like a little bundle I got. So um, again, prices, you know, they weren't really priced well there. So I kind of took everything up and just paid for it. The other thing are these goodie picks. I sold these for $22.40. Um, same estate sale, same thing, probably had 50 cents to a dollar in them. And definitely a good return. Anything goody I pick up if it's cheap and you always want to look it up. Okay, so those were the items that I sold. So now we're back to what I have researched on eBay as big money items to sell that are from the bathroom. Um, these are celluloid, celluloid ring containers, you guys. And these are definitely a, a, a bolo. These are beautiful. Um, people collect these, these sold for $399 and 99 cents plus shipping. Um, I probably would have parted this out, but, um, that's just me. Uh, what do you guys think? The next item that sold are, is I should, um, this mid-century mermaid on a seahorse. So this is all one piece and you guys, these ceramic, they're either ceramic or they're, um, oh, what is that word? shucks. I can't think of it right now. Oh, it maybe it'll come to me. I may have another one, but it's another type of material that's really popular for these types of things. These are wall hangings and you will see these in bathrooms a lot. This one sold for $159.99. Mermaids are popular, fish are popular, seahorses, anything like that. The next item that sold are these vintage bathroom. There's a tissue holder. Uh, drawer pulls, a toilet ring, um, and uh, plates for the lights. So this probably came out of somebody's bathroom. And I was watching Primetime Treasure Hunters channel the other night, and um, there was a thrift battle. And Rachel Strickland was on, and she shared a bolo about bathroom tiles that she removed from her bathroom that she's going to sell to help pay for her new bathroom. So go check out that thrift battle. It was really, really good. But um, really cool uh, bolo that she shared. And her husband did all the work. So she'll tell you the story in the video. But this sold for $45 plus shipping. So if you see these things, which you sometimes will at garage sales and stuff, they do have some value. The next item that sold is this vintage shower head, you guys. $83. You guys would be surprised. If you see something that's new old stock, look it up because somebody is looking for it. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this shower curtain. So again, shower curtains that are mid-century modern and vintage, 
They will range from bread and butter to big money. This one has a really cool print, so it sold for $81 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage revolver hair dryer. For some reason, these are very, very popular. There is no way on earth I would ever use this hair dryer. I think it's awful, but it is a bolo. Um, if you search solds um, hair dryer, vintage hair dryer, highest to lowest, you are going to see a bunch of these solds. I don't know. This one went for $289. There are others um, that are different styles. To me, I, I just don't get it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Would you use this hair dryer? I think it's freaky. The next item is curlers. So hot rollers. These come in like a container and they heat up. Women use them to curl their hair. Um, a lot of the vintage ones do really well. So if you see them, look them up. They are not all created equal. Some are bread and butter. Some are big money. Some probably sit forever and never sell. So look them up. This one went for 120 free shipping. The next item I thought was really cute. This is just a bread and butter item, but it's um, anything Hello Kitty you'll want to look up. But this is a cotton swab dispenser, like a Q-tip holder, you guys, from 19... Well, it says 1976-1991. So that's probably the patent date and then the year this one was released. This is probably a reproduction and it sold her $14.95 plus shipping. I think that's what it means when it has two dates. Don't quote me on that. Um, if anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments. Vintage Q-tips. So anytime you find old things like this, um, probably not. The person buying it is probably buying it for the advertising, not for the actual Q-tips. This is a bread and butter bolo. It went for $19.95, but I am sure that these do range. So definitely be on the lookout for things like this. A lot of times they will be used for like movie props and stuff like that. The next item that sold is this lipstick holder. Um, vintage lipstick holders can also be a bolo. Uh, they do range, but this one is by Revlon and it sold for $55 plus shipping. And again, it is just the lipstick holder. It's not the lipstick. You can see right here. The next item that sold is this lipstick holder, but this is like a, it would go on uh, like your dresser or something like that. And it would hold your lipsticks. It's ceramic. It's super, super cute. And this sold for $189.99. There you have a, it's signed on the bottom. So, you know, if you ever see anything that's signed, you can look things up that way. Um, but yeah, really, really cool bolo. The next item is this vintage Max Factor face brush. You guys, if you don't know, Max Factor can be a big money bolo. So anything that's vintage and Max Factor, it is definitely worth looking up. This sold for $84 plus shipping. I have no idea what a face brush is. I mean, I guess it's this, but what do you do with it? Like rub it on your face? Like what? I don't understand what the point is. Let me know if you guys know. <laughs> the next item is this vintage Max Factor perfume bottle. So this is a necklace, you guys. And I would assume if this had perfume in it, it would have to be not sold on eBay based on the rules. But this one looks to be empty and it sold for $115 plus shipping. The next item, again, Max Factor. So if you guys can find the pancake makeup, um, I think it's like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't use this. So foundation, don't use foundation, but I believe it's foundation. But the Max Factor foundation is definitely a bolo. I think they're discontinued, hard to find colors that people loved. And this one sold for $129. And it looks like this seller has sold 17 of these. And you can see all of them for $129. Several people bought two. My goodness, it must be good. And that seller hit the jackpot finding those. So this one I thought was cool. I don't know what the best offer was that was accepted, but it's a Max Factor uh, sponge. It's a cosmetic sponge, you guys. And it's still in the original packaging. So again, just crazy what people pay for things that they love that are discontinued. The next item is OPI nail polish. Some of these OPI discontinued colors can definitely be a bolo. That goes for other nail polishes also. Um, I was recently watching a video by Farm Girl Scavenger, and she was talking about vintage nail polish. And um, 
she was saying, I think it was her cousin or somebody collects the nail polish. And I guess even when they dry up, they have ways to bring it back to life. I don't know anything about that, but that's what she was saying. So go check out that video. Um, it was a, um, it was a live show and they were talking about bathroom bolos. She, we were talking and she's like, I need to do a, another video. And she does like, kind of like what I'm doing now, but she does them on live shows. And I'm like, you should do bathroom bolos. So she ended up doing it. And I was kind of thinking I'm going to do another bathroom bolo video because I haven't done one. In a while. So, um, here I am doing my bathroom video, but check out hers also, because I'm sure she has tons of different items that are different than the ones I'm showing you right now. And she is a major bolo finder. Um, so check her out. I know she was going through like an estate sale box that she had from an estate sale. So she was talking about a lot of the items in there and I was there for about an hour and a half. So, um, I saw most of it. It was really good. So check it out. And again, that's farm girl scavenger Noel on YouTube and Instagram. All right, you guys, this is an antique chrome wall mount soap dispenser. So again, you guys, the fixtures that come off the wall, it can be um, the towel bars, the drawer pulls, all of that stuff that's vintage. Somebody's looking for it to fix their bathroom up to make it mid-century modern or whatever. You know, a lot of people are tearing it out, but there's people that want that stuff. Um, a best offer on this one also, I can't tell you what it sold for. This item was actually untested and it still sold. So very, very cool. The next item that sold are these vintage Mickey Mouse four-piece accessory set. It's a toothbrush holder, a soap dispenser. Everything is matchy-matchy. It's Disney. So, of course, I'm guessing most of you would know that if you saw this, you should probably look it up because it's got a lot going for it. It's vintage. It's Mickey Mouse. It's Disney. Um, super cute. Somebody's going to buy this for their kids to have in their bathroom. This sold for $89.91. Free shipping. The next item are maxi pads. Tampons, panty liners. Um, more than likely, people are buying these for um, props, movie props, advertising. Um, maybe somebody wants the discontinued product to use. Like they were like, oh, these are my favorite maxi pads. I don't know, you guys. But these sold for $53.98 plus shipping. The next item, again, I was talking about the old uh, towel racks. These are Kimball glass bar towel racks. These went for $77 plus shipping. And these are new old stock. So that's pretty cool. The next item, vintage towels. Um, again, you've got the person who's trying to bring back the mid-century modern theme. These are flower powered daisy towels. Super cool. They sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Some other towels that can go for a lot of money are like popular high dollar brands you know, or it can just be what the towel looks like. Uh, they do range, you guys. These are pre-owned towels. A lot of them are going to be bread and butter, but you can find some high dollar ones. The next item is this um, vintage linen Dawn tea towel. Um, super cute. It's just a little hand towel, you guys. Do you love it? It sold for $273.88 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these uh, Pierre, Pierre Cardin for Fieldcrest six-piece towel set. Again, you've got the mid-century modern theme. These are from the 70s. Super cool. I got to admit, I do love these. These are really neat. I love the, the print. I love the colors. These sold for $108.50. And you can see they're pointing out the flaws. Very cool. I like how they did their pictures, too. The next item that sold is this vintage 1960s Sneasley Seal Bubble Bath Bottle from Hanna-Barbera. Okay, you guys, vintage kids toys that can be played with in the bathtub. Look them up. You might be surprised. This one sold for $304.99 plus shipping. And if you're thinking that probably didn't sell, look, here's another one. This one went for $422 with free shipping. Um, it says Purex. I don't know why this is so special, but for some reason it is. Um, so if you ever see this guy, uh, definitely consider looking him up and seeing if he's still a bolo. The next item are vintage first aid kits. These are from Johnson & Johnson. This is a lot of four. These went for $90. 
Um, again, vintage advertising, super cool, fun little bolo. Um, they're going to range from bread and butter to big money. The next item, again, vintage band-aids, you guys. Probably for the advertising, probably not somebody that's going to be actually using these band-aids. But there are the band-aids that were still in this tin, which is super, super cool. Look how beat up the tin is. If you guys want to know more about vintage tins to be look be on the lookout for, I have a video that talks about the top five vintage tins to bolo for. And some of them may surprise you. All right, you guys, I'm going to see where I am at on time. We are at 20 minutes. So I am going to stop here and I am going to do a part two. Um, so I don't know when I'll release that, but this is part one of the bathroom bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to go to the playlist bolo category videos and you will find a bunch of category videos. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments section if you made it to the end of the video. All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I don't know if I already said that. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.